What's going on guys? TTL here with another video for MLB for today. These are going to be my top five props for the day. Um, really appreciate all the support on the last video. The last video we went five for five in the free picks. We hit a 10x. Let's do it again tonight. Um, absolutely loving these top five props that I have. Um, playing them all in different power plays, uh, different two picks, three picks on different websites. But absolutely love all five. Before we get into it, if you're interested in joining the Patreon, it's $20 a month. You get access to all of my complete prize picks, underdog, sleeper slips, um, any sport I play, parlay play slips. You get sports book bets. You get VIP only giveaways, VIP only uh, chat, streams. We do watch parties. We pretty much do the full nine yards. Um, it's only $20 a month. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, join the Discord either way. The link to both the Patreon and the Discord is in the description down below and in the comments. Uh, we've been killing it. If you want two weeks for free, sign up to a Sleeper, Prize Picks, Underdog, or Parlay Play using code TTL. You'll get a 100% deposit match on that website. And then open a ticket in the Discord. You get two weeks for free of Patreon. But let's get actually into the picks now. Sorry, had to do that little plug at the beginning of every video. <laughs> But um, let's just get into the picks. I am using outlier.bet, which is my partner, for uh, the statistics and the stats for these uh, these videos. If you want a free trial for a week, go ahead and use that link in the description. But absolutely amazing website, and let's get into it. So one of my top picks of the day is actually Zach Greinke, over two and a half strikeouts versus Pittsburgh. Um, Pirates are kind of middle of the pack for strikeouts per game. And we can see that he's went over this. Oh, wow. Thanks, Prize Picks. Um, as you can see, Prize Picks is just not on it today. Um, but we can take a look. We can see over 2.5 is around minus 118 odds, minus 125 odds. He's hit this in seven of his last 10 games. He's hit this in 77%, which is 17 games out of 22 starts this season. Um, now he does normally just get three or four strikeouts, but versus the Pirates, I definitely think he's going to get that three minimum. And um, he's he has hit this at seventy seven percent in seventy seven percent of his starts this season. So absolutely love this. Over his last five, he's hit it in three of five. Last ten, seven of ten. So absolutely love this. The two times he's went under, or three times he's went under um, out of his last ten. Two of them versus the Guardians, who are top three teams in the league for least amount of strikeouts per game. And then one was versus Detroit. So absolutely love him today. I'm locking that one in. I also really love Bobby Miller under five and a half strikeouts versus the Diamondbacks. We'll take a look at him on here as well. If we can find him. He might have been up here, actually. Here it is, Bobby Miller under five and a half strikeouts around minus 130, minus 120 odds. We can see he's hit this in seven of his last 10, he stayed under. In four out of his last five, he stayed under. In the head-to-head, -head, he's went against them one time this season, which was less than a month ago, August 9th. He got four strikeouts then. And in 2023, he stayed under in 10 of 15 starts. In the times that he's went over, he's got a max of seven strikeouts, with two of them being six. Um, he's gotten five strikeouts about uh, against some of the worst strikeout per game teams in the league currently, such as the Giants, who strike out a crap ton. Uh, Diamondbacks are top ten in the league for uh, least amount of strikeouts. Don't see them. Get, uh, don't see him having. Uh, six or more strikeouts versus them. He got four last time. That's about what I expect today. I'm locking this one in with confidence. Next, I have Zach Gallen over five strikeouts versus the Dodgers. This is on the opposite end against Bobby Miller. Um, we can take a look. So over five and a half is around plus 115 odds, but when you move the odds to be over four and a half, which is at minimum a push, <laughs> because we just need that five for the push. We can see that he's pushed or went over in nine out of his last 10 starts. The one time he didn't was versus the Padres. Um, in 2023, he's pushed or went over in 21 of 27 games, which is a 78% push or hit rate. Um, I see him having no issues versus the Dodgers today. The head-to-head, -to -head, 
Now this does date all the way back to 2021, but he's went over in five out of six starts. Um, since 2022, three of three, and then this year, the one game they played against each other, um, he went over. So absolutely loving this pick today. Again, I'm locking this one in with confidence. This is one of my favorite plays for two picks, three picks, things like that. I also really love Kenta Meta over five strikeouts. Now he is versus the Guardians, who again, are top three teams for least amount of strikeouts per game. So that is a little bit rough, a little bit iffy. This is probably my least confident play of the day. I will go ahead and get that out there. But um, I've been riding the uh, Mato train for a while now, and he just keeps on cashing for us. Let's hope he can do that again today. We'll change his line to over 5.5 to over 4.5. We can see it's around minus 210 odds to at least push. The head-to-head, -head, um, one for one. Both of these games are 2021. Kind of irrelevant. We can take 2023. He's pushed or went over this line in 67% of his games this season, which is 10 of 15. Um, he's went against some teams that are pretty good about not striking out as well, like the Diamondbacks, which he got seven against. Um, getting five shouldn't be that difficult for him, even versus the Guardians. I see him getting five to seven, between five and seven strikeouts today. So he may end up pushing. That does That is the reason that he's my least favorite play of the day. But I still love him. Um, still feel free to play him in power plays if you would like. There is that push potential there, though. Um, and my fifth and final play of the day is Severino under 5.5 strikeouts. So we'll take a look at this as well. We can see under 5.5 strikeouts is right at minus 134, minus 140 odds. Um... Over his last 10, he stayed under in 9 out of 10. In 2023, he stayed under this number in 13 of 15 starts all season, 87% of games this season. And in the head-to-head, -head, he stayed under one game and went over the other. This is 2022 as well, though. Um, I don't see him going over six strikeouts versus Detroit today. Five and a half strikeout as a line for Severino is really high, especially seeing what he's done this season. I know it's based just off of matchup. That's the only reason his number is so high. But I still lean under, um, and I'm definitely locking in this under with confidence. So, again, we have Granke over 2.5 strikeouts. Bobby Miller under 5.5. Zach Gallen over 5. Meta over, over 5. And then Severino under 5.5. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and go join the Discord, guys. The Discord's free, free giveaways. I just now gave away $250 just yesterday. So go sign up, and I'll see you guys in there.